Hello again, DJ Vic Vapor back with another Logic Pro 10 advanced editing tutorial. And we're going to talk a little bit about the anchor and the anchor feature and how it relates to your clip or your region. So what you can do is you're, you're dealing with the snap here. Basically, you got smart snap is kind of the default, and then you can snap to a bar, beats, division, ticks, frames, quarters, things like that. So currently, uh, smart is selected. So when we're working with this region here, the drums region, you can see it, it kind of snaps, you know, to a line or an area on your um, timeline. And it kind of, you know, jumps here and there a little bit, but relatively accurate depending on how far you want to move it. You can set this to a bar and then the front of the region you'll notice always snaps to the corresponding next bar whether you're going left or right. And notice it's always the front. It's not really focused on the back. The front of the region. Let me check one more thing here. I'm going to make sure this is, yeah, snap regions to absolute value. Okay. So the reason for that kind of behavior, that it's always the front of the region snapping, is called uh, due to something called the anchor. And let's take a look at that. So I double click the region to open up our editor down here. And our anchor is right here. It says anchor, and then you get the little insignia that actually looks like an anchor. And when you grab this guy, you can start to move him up and down the timeline, the region timeline here. Let's say, let's say I want the region to start here or snap to here. So before I let this go, just pay attention to the um, clip up above the uh, the region we are working with. You see how I just jumped and stretched out that way because now what's happening is where I selected the anchor to be is where the region snapped to and it's got a little black dot right there marking that spot so now anytime I move this region the front is not snapping to the bar but this transient or this hit of the kick is let's take a look at that so if I move it back here you see it's actually snapping to bar 4 and bar 5 and so on and so forth the other way. So by selecting the anchor and marking it down here, it tells the region to behave as a, you know, to behave in that way to snap to the anchor point. Now if I wanted say the end of the region to be the point where it's snapping, I simply would just take it out there to the end and it would snap out there. Let's leave it right here for now. And you can kind of see when I drag this, how it kind of highlights slightly different. All right, so let's go back here. And we'll put this guy up front. And then you've got it back to its normal behavior. So that's kind of the uh, hidden little guy down here, the anchor, that helps dictate the behavior of your snapping and its, its relationship to your grid. So nice little heads up um, tip for you there. Hopefully it's something that will help you out with positioning your regions or you know, realigning your drum beats or whatever it is you might find useful in that, in that manner. Just, just bear in mind... Um, you know, that's kind of the anchor and how it functions. One thing I do want to say, though, is let me show you this real quick one more time here. There's one thing I forgot to mention. So let's say we do We put the anchor out here. And then what you noticed was, see how the, um, the region jumped off to that side because it's repositioning the, the transient to that, to that one bar. So, you know, it kind of extended itself that way. If you don't want the region to have this kind of behavior, if you want it to just stay, stay put, you go here to the edit menu, open this up, and you scroll all the way down, and on the bottom it says 
lock position in track when moving anchor. So you put a check mark there. Now what's going to happen is when I move the anchor, watch the region. Nothing's happening. It's, it's indicated that I've moved the anchor there, but the region's no longer jumping to the right and extending itself. We've locked that behavior and put it in place. So that is important to know if you don't want the region jumping all over the grid or if you prefer that behavior, you can take that check mark back off. So once again, thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for pushing play and tuning in. Hopefully you're learning something and we'll talk to you in the next tutorial. Peace.